Okay, I'm going to do a, a flip cut and drag. And the paint I'm using, I'm using some heavy body acrylics, which um, is giving me a really nice, thick, creamy base. And there's also some free flow in the paints and some GAC Golden 100. I have Liquitex in Liquitex as well in there, and um, I'm using some Fluorotrol as well. There's actually quite a bit of Fluorotrol because I've run out of Liquitex, and I am put I have put silicon oil in all of the colours. So my colours are all mixed up here. I'm going to do a dirty pour and a flip and drag. Of drag and then flip. <laughs> So you can see how I just used the straw and I pushed it into the white because it's so thick, it'll stay there. And I've dragged out some other spots up here as well. So it's, it's, a, it's a butterfly wing. Okay, this is my wing which is merging from the cocoon and I'm going to do a few little spots with some of this variegated gold leaf. It's imitation, it's, it's not real. So just a few spots where the colour is a bit dead. I want to give it a little bit of a, a sparkle.
this is a, a little dip ditch that I'm doing. Um, this little wing, this is the wing of the butterfly, and I'm going to do a, a little cocoon. So as if the butterfly is coming out of the cocoon. So I'm going to do a, like a large ribbon pour here, and then I'm going to do work over the top. But I want to, I want to get a, a reasonably hard edge of the ribbon pour because it's not easy to control that. So I'm actually, I've drawn a bit of a shape here. That, and I'm going to, I'm going to mask it with some tape. So I'm just going to mask this around the edge. Okay, these are the colours that I'm going to use on the cocoon. Um, I've made them quite thick. You can see the consistency. These are really thick. Because I, I don't want it to run too much. Some of them are thin, thin it's slightly thinner than others. And this is a dirty pour that I have left over from when I did the wing. The wing and I'm going to put some of that in as well. Because I want this to be dark, the cocoon to be dark. I'm going to work from dark, and then I've got multiple layers of ribboning, dark to light. Okay, so I'm going to do pour the paints into here. This is the cocoon and I'll be able to pull all that plastic off when it's dry and I'll be left with that shape. But before I do do that I'm going to wait for this to dry and I'm going to do some sort of linear ribbons so that it looks, looks like there's like thread, like silk threads all over it. Okay, while the cocoon is drying, I'm going to work on some stages of the wing, the butterfly wing. So make sure your work is level. And I've put some cloth tape around it so that I've created a wall because I want a thick, a thick amount of resin. So this is not my final coat. Um, the final coat, I will, I will um, roll it over the edges. Now before I did do this coat, I sprayed with some archival UV spray to help with the, um, the UV properties of the paint so that it doesn't fade and I put that on. Now I've mixed up uh, quite a lot of resin for this size, it's um, a total of 100 mil and when I mix it up always use a mask when you're mixing your resin. Okay, now the resin is mixed. So I've got a nice thick coverage of resin. I used art resin. And the, the gold, variegated gold leaf has worked really well. And you can actually still see the, you can see the texture actually even more after I put the resin on, which is interesting. You do too. I am going to do some more, more variegated gold leaf on this layer and maybe a few little pores. I'm just doing a little, little bit of handwork on top of this resin layer, which I've sanded so it's got a scuffed surface so the um, paint will stick better. This is gold, gold pigment mixed with a little bit of, of golden 800 
Um, so I have, I'm not using any fluorotrol or, or Liquitex for this time because I want it to be thick. So I'm just doing little dobs of paint or pouring it. Okay, I'm going to do a few little ribbon pours on the on my cocoon while it's still masked off. Okay, so I'll just show you what I've done. So I just did a lot of ribbon, ribbon pours, and I did one or two thicker ones. Okay, I'm, I'm just taking off the tape where I masked it, and there's a skin right up to the edge where the mask was, and I'm just going to cut that with a scalpel. Um, I'm going to draw some the butterflies sitting on the cocoon on the outside so as a fluttering edge I'll still do the layers over the top but I'll keep away from these details and I might even make them three-dimensional um, but I'm going to do them all fluttering all around it so I'm just using lead pencil and I'm using the um, Posca pens and these are my reference photographs. These are my photographs I took at the Australian um, Butterfly Sanctuary. So I'm just looking at the patterns of the butterflies that I saw there. And I'm using them to inspire my little butterflies. I'm doing. Okay, I'm just doing a couple of more layers of, of clear resin. Now make sure your work is level, always. Every time you do a layer of resin or even a, a layer of acrylic paint pouring, you need to re-level it every time you do it. Okay, and I've mixed up about 500 ml of hardener and, and of resin. And um, wear a mask when you're mixing. Well, you should wear a mask the whole time. It's terribly hot today, so this I'm going to have to work quickly. Make sure this is art resin. Make sure that there's no streakiness left in the resin. Okay, I, I hope, hope you can see, but on this layer of resin, this is a clear layer of resin, um, I want to do some, just a little sort of hint of a butterfly fluttering around here on the top of the wing, and I'm, I'm using a, it's just a, a coloured pencil actually, and I'm just going to leave, draw, draw some shapes of some wings just so that I've got somewhere something to follow. You can use use a conti, like a hard conti as well. I mean this will rub off so you'll be able to rub it off afterwards. Um, Okay, I just did a whole lot more um, just hand work on this layer, clear layer of rhythm. Just picking up the textures and patterns that are underneath. So they're sitting on top. Can you see the shadow that they're throwing? 
And now I'm going to do, I will do a clear layer of resin and I'll build up that three dimension there in the middle again. I have just, uh, I built a wall of tape and I've just laid a very thick layer of, of resin. I've used uh, Mastercast this time because that's just that's what I've got. And it's quite thick. I've done quite a thick layer if you can see. It's quite thick. And that has really made those three dimensional elements. Sorry about the light. Three, dim three dimensional elements that I've placed on top of the acrylic pour, they've really popped out. So I will be working on those, on top of those little decorative parts there. Just one more of this layer and then there'll be just one final layer. So this is my final layer of resin for my metamorphosis. This is the one part of it. I've just taped it at the sides to create a wall and I'm pouring the resin on it, the final layer. This is a real sense of it, of those fluttering and worked parts that I did, so they're sitting like they're floating on top, especially like they're, they look like they're floating in water. So it's created an interesting effect. So I'm just going to wait for that to dry a little bit, get tacky and take the tape off and then I'll let the resin flow down the sides. Now I'm just going to take the tape off and let it run down and wipe off the sides. Okay, I just did some more handwork on this second layer of resin, so if you can see, oops, that wipes too right, right, you can see there's a, a sort of a, uh, there's a three dimensional, just a little bit of 3D in the butterfly, so I just did another layer on top. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so it's my little web around the cocoon. So it's like it's hanging on to something from above. Yesterday has just come off your shoulder. Okay, I've just done a whole lot of more handwork, which I've just really sort of used what was underneath and painted tones that would kind of camouflage into the, the cocoon there. Ready for another layer of resin and I waited for the acrylic paint layer to dry and then I have um, put another spray, a bit of spray of the UV spray and then I've, I've walled the edges. I'm going to um, actually leave the wall on for this one so I'm just going to fill it with some resin and I've used this time I've used art resin I'm going to do a couple of ribbon pours just final ones over the top this has been, I've sanded the edges so they're nice and rounded and smooth and I did the handwork on this, this last layer of resin and I'm going to put these straight on top of this. I'm going to 
you see, I'm just doing some gold leaf over the top of those gold pores because then I want them to stand out more. So I've just got some plain gold leaf and I'm just painting over the top of this ribbon pole. Let's put our footprints on the ground and see if they're here at the end of spring. Look at the birds in the air they okay. found. I just put the gold leaf over the top of that ribbon pour that I did, the gold ribbon pour, because it wasn't wasn't really gold enough. So this is really shiny. 